my first ever park run. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is my first ever park run. But I'm not running, I'm walking it. And this is the route at Markeaton Park, Derby. Remember, before attending, you need to register on the website. It emails you a link to confirm registration where you can open up the website and download your personalised barcode, which you need to print out and take along. You need help finding the start line, by the way. This is the car park. Here's the map. But basically, you just go straight through the park, follow the signs to the cafe. Right, so here is the Orangery, the cafe at Market Park, and this is where they do the new members chit chat. So at 10 to 9, 8.50, you meet at the stairs here. You can see the hustle and the bustle. It's a good day to run, not too hot, but the sun's out, it's dry. Welcome everybody, are you please? Right, so we've finished our newbie briefing, and this is the briefing for everybody. You can see everyone's ready to go. Right, and running me with today is Claire. Hi. Hi Claire, she's getting her music ready. Now, although she hasn't done port run before, you have run before, haven't you? Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. A bit of a Why are you nervous? Like so, the fastest run is 28 minutes? 36 minutes. Okay, so what do you think, what's your predicted time? Of my running? Yeah. Uh, maybe 45 minutes. Okay, so Claire reckons 45 minutes. I reckon an hour for mine. Right, we're now moving to the start line. Normally there's about 400 people. Around. Right, so we've moved around here to the start line, which is again the other side of the cafe. Everyone's walking around there. And we're ready to go. Right, we're just started all of a sudden. I was expecting a whistle or a siren or something, but we're off. Down by the ducks. And the way stop. You can see this is Claire's little run. This is my walk. Right, so the runners have all gone off there. You can see I'm pretty much on my own walking. There's a few walkers here, but as uh, as we said, if you're overweight. You don't want to be running, guys. Don't destroy those joints. Take it gentle. 5K, here we go. So this is the main part of the park. You can see the runners are lapping all the way around there. Claire is in front of me. It's a gorgeous day for running. Nice breeze. For those of you who know the area, this is the bit where we go next to the A38. So we're now on the park area just about to go up the Hostack hill they call it through the forest and apparently we're going to get looped shortly so behind us will be the rest because it's a two lap race right now just overtaken us are the leaders that have just lapped us one and a half times the race right now coming up we have the turn where you don't turn over to go to mcdonald's and here we are going through the forest now. If you're looking for a boyfriend like me, Hot Run is definitely the place to go. <laughs> We're now coming back onto the main field. And the sunshine is out. This is night. Nice. We've got a bit of boggy ground coming up. I'm not going to do that. I've got white trainers on for God's sake. <laughs> They're all going through it. Filthy. Right, so the good news is we can see the finishing line. The bad news is we need to do another lap yet. These people running in front have already are on their second lap. I'm on my first, but no problem. We're walking, guys. It's all about slow and steady. Slow and steady doesn't win the race, but it does improve your fitness and help you lose weight. Cha-ching! Look at all these people on the home run. It's quite exciting. You're allowed one dog. Children under 11 have to run with you. Wow, look at him. 
Oh, there's my mum and Keith cheering us on. Is all right? Yeah. One lap to go. Have uh, you? Well done, mate. Looking good. Thank you. <laughs> right, so that's the bit where we had to not go to the finish there. And we're going round again. There is a couple of people at the back with me. I'm not alone, guys. I'm not alone. Right, we're officially halfway round. This is where we started by the ducks. Lap one, Strava stats. That's the map, 1.68 miles, 2.7 miles per hour, and time 36 minutes. The good news is, throughout the summer months, the Marquitan Park swimming pool is open, so if you need a dip afterwards, it's that way. Right, slight issue I keep getting. I've got stones in my shoes. What's the solution, guys? Do I need to tie up my shoelaces? My other issue is I really need a wee. I'm not going to do the men thing and go in the bushes, guys. I can wait. I can hold it. But my advice is definitely don't drink too much water before you start. I shouldn't have done it. My other top tips, wear a t-shirt, <laughs> not a jacket. Uh, but I knew not to wear my hat, guys, because hats, always, whenever your head's covered, it always gets you warm. So sunglasses is it, if it's bright. No hats, please. Definitely shorts. Get those legs out, absorb the vitamin D. Woo! Go back to the car park. It's just so tempting just to get in your car, especially when it's like right here. But don't do it, guys. Keep going, keep going what they call heart attack hill. <laughs> you can understand why it's called heart attack hill, but there is some great views to keep you motivated as we go up here. So what I'm gonna do, let's throw onto the screen my heart rate right now. What training zone are we in? Let's have a look. So for the second time, this is a bit where we have to say no to crossing the road and go for McDonald's breakfast. No, don't do it. Turn right, don't go across. Don't go that way, don't go that way. Right, here we are on the home run. We're still going. I did run the last uh, 50 meters there. <laughs> Were my man boobs everywhere though? No, it was fine. <laughs> right, so we've just finished. We've just gone through I the did little. It in 40 minutes, though. Oh, Less did 40, you? Just 40 minutes, yeah. Well done. So we've got this little tag which we've now got to go and scan <laughs> and we get our official time. But I think we've also got a photo here, look. Right, we're now coming up the stairs and we've now got to touch in. No, you don't touch it, you just hook it. Hook? Hook the tag on. Where? Over there. Okay, we're going to hook. Right. Hello, so this is where we're going to... Okay. This is what I look like after 5k. My mum and Keith are over here. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was Claire like? Because I missed her running. No, she was alright. Was she? Yeah. The second best ever run. So we just had a bit of an issue there. We didn't scan our tag and our thing. So before you put it on... for the toilet so behind the start line behind the cafe this is where you'll find the toilets guys and boston it's, uh, got another blue stone issue where are they coming from how are they getting in there running friends help me right now claire's never seen the mark eaton park swimming pool so i'm going to show her now this is not it there's a proper paddling pool i spent my childhood in it let's go So, Claire, what are your top tips for running in general? I, well, I prefer to have a bit of a, I have a strange mix. People like a little bit of a stereo, like, you know, like... So you do think music helps? Because yes. I didn't have music on that music one. Music does help. My, my favourite music, one of my favourite songs at the moment to get you going on um, running... Black Magic? No. Look, level Up. 
I don't know that song. Look, you're really gonna love it. Right, here's 10 seconds of that song. Because love sounds up. nice. What, <laughs> look, what the problem with that song here? If you're like if you're feeling a bit deflated and you feel like I'm slowing down, that play where you just start thinking level up, level up, level up. So if you're making a playlist, you want to put that near the end then. Near the end, or at the start, if you're feeling a bit demotivated, if you're not ready for the run. Or maybe every other song. Could be, could be. I, I was thinking about that for myself. I do like a bit of R&B mix, but people don't really like that. But I, I prefer that. So yeah, next time I will try uh, with my headphones in and then we'll. All that. Level it up. Have a go. Right, but now we're still walking to the pond. Sorry, not the pond, the paddling pool. It's nice, you're gonna like you it. Look, my hairstyle today, Yeah, it's in touch layer. I had it from my Ukrainian. Just say how impressed Claire is with the playground, the kayaks, everything. Crazy golf over there. They used to have donkeys as well. I think they still have donkeys now and again. What donkeys? Yeah. yeah. Right, now we're videoing Claire's reaction to the Mark Eaton Park paddling pool. Now it does look like it's coned off, does it? Yeah, it's jump over. What does this sign say? Oh, 10.30. Right, so she can't actually like go in it, but you can see it though. What do you think? What is your reaction to the... It's actually, where that fountain is in the middle, it's actually quite deep. You could sit in and get it up is to it your... Cold, bloody freezing, yeah. No, I don't want to go in <laughs> So yes, that is the nice pool which opens at 10. So this was the Mark Eaton Park Park Run. Thank you for joining us, guys. Please remember to subscribe to the video, like, leave us a comment. What do you think to Claire's time? It was your second, second from personal best, wasn't it? Yeah. Amazing. 41, 41 minutes, not bad really. I'm I, proud of you, Doug. I'm not athletic. We and, all know this. I'm and, quite fat as well. You know, it's one of those things. You normally run alone as well. I do normally run so alone. So did it motivate you to come with the group? A little bit, but I don't like too much crowd. Were you scared? Yeah, I, I had to stay near the back just for my home safety. No, shout out to uh, my, the runner with me, Becky. She was great. She really uh, gave me some doing? good advice. She, was she actually to running? be honest, she was she was running, but she was doing a really gentle run, and she was a bit disappointed when I told her I'd walked around and we were still the same level. But I think this is good. You know, it's got to be a gentle run to begin with. But you know, my whole idea of doing this, guys, was just to show you that you can walk an event like this, even though it feels socially disnormal when everyone around you is running. You know, you've got to do, do your, your body. Own fitness. Exactly. Well, what we're going to do in a couple of weeks' time, everyone, we're going to do the marsh run. So Claire's local is Hackney Marshes. Hackney Marsh, which is near the offices of the Big Breakfast, isn't it, Joe? That is right. Yeah. There's, we my might home. See some foot, foot, football people. <laughs> We might see some celebs. You know, it is a quite popular celeb hangout. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll see that in a few weeks, guys. Bye for now. And just a little PS, guys. If you do want to join me and Claire walking, you can walk with me or you can run with Claire at Derby or Hackney Marshes. Then <laughs> just go to jodybunting.com and send me a message. Bye. These are the Strava stats, including that little bit of extra walk we did at the end and they are 3.9 miles, one hour and seven minutes, burn 744 calories. And Matt, my run reckons we did 9.9 K steps. Two and a half hours after the run, we got a text telling us our times, and it also sent us an email where you could click through to the website for full information. Uh, and you could see there the winner was 17 minutes pacey. Uh, Claire did it in 41 and 52 seconds. I did it in officially one hour and three minutes. However, if you look at Becky, who was in front of me, she did it in 52 minutes. I was busy taking photos, so my hour was one hour and three. But actually, I was only 52, the same as Becky. Well done again to Claire on her great time. Thanks my mum for taking some great photos and again thank you for the team and Mark Eaton. See you again soon.